Hi, and welcome. Today we're going to talk about a new room in TriHackMe that I haven't been doing before. The room is called RootMe and is rated as an easy room on TriHackMe. Now, whenever we're doing rooms on TriHackMe, please uh, keep in mind that some of them, even though that they're rated easy, may contain things you do not know. This is a part of hacking. This is a part of finding knowledge and understanding new things. So follow along today to see the room root me. Now I already started the room and it's already ready with the IP address in a few seconds. All right, so we have the IP address. We're gonna complete the room, the first deploy machine room going to reconnaissance and now we can begin to start answering the questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a nmap scan on the IP address, which is 10.10.95.168. Yes, I'm going to copy that and search for services and versions of those and the IP address start the scan. Um, then I'm gonna go to my browser and put in the IP address and see that there is a website running on the IP, which is a very good exercise. Then I wanna start GoBuster to directory scan on the IP address from the root folder of the IP. And I'm gonna use the word list called uh, from the Buster directory directory list 2.3 small, which is in many cases on these trihackme rooms, the easy ones at least, enough. So already off the bat we have uploads folder and let's see, yes, nmap scan stopped and we have two ports opened of the most used thousand ones, which is 22 and 80. I'm right clicking the page just to verify that there is nothing interesting inside of it. There's a JavaScript file, that's about it. It looks like something someone created. And yes, it's not that interesting, so basically just gonna verify and skip it. All right, so the GoBuster scan now reveals that we have a folder called panel, which could, could be interesting. Um, and the uploads folder, of course. So let's look at the folders uploads which is a good sign then this might be a room where we could upload files and the panel part it is actually also another part we already suggested so let's try and upload something um, I have an old picture called hot babe so let's upload that let's see what happens all right, some Spanish it seems like, and it is right there. So that's a very good sign. Um, so we need to figure out which kind of file we can upload now. Uh, this looks like PHP, however, I'm just gonna try a little thing for you guys to see how to, in a certain way, verify whether it's a, a PHP, uh, this, whether the web server is running PHP, the nmap scan didn't show anything really, so that's not that useful. We could try other scans, but for now, I'm gonna show you a little trick, which is we could right click and see we have an upload form. So if it pointed to a file ending on a PHP uh, extension, it would be at PHP. Uh, web server running PHP, but there is nothing so far which suggests that there is an index file that could be catching all the traffic. Let's just try and access that through the browser and voila, uh, the same page appears. So if I alter the index file to something like different um, uh, T or some name the file is not found, which means that this is probably a PHP server. It is a PHP server. So while me hitting the right window, I'm gonna try and fill out questions 
and the try hack me window. So two ports open, fetching the version of the Apache server. SSH is the service on port 22. I used Ghostbuster, I did. And the hidden directory in this case was panel, which is also one of my answers. Next task is to getting a shell. Now, getting a shell can be very difficult from room to room. However, in this room, it should be straightforward since it is marked as easy. So all the normal default stuff should be the same. So I'm going to go to Pentest Monkey, which is a website you can use to look for a reverse shell written with PHP. On the website, we can copy well, access, first of all, the reverse shell in PHP, go and fit the raw, copy the UL, and download it to our system. So what I'm going to do is I'm canceling out the GoBuster, creating a folder on my desktop, which will contain the reverse shell. Yes, so I'm creating a file. Well, I don't need to do that. So basically I'm gonna download it. I wanna rename it and let's see, rename it to something sensible. Uh, oops, not remove, I need to move it. And now it is of course gone. So I'm gonna re-download it again, just a small error on my fingers you get and then move it to shell.php which is a much more sensible name and I'm just verifying that the content inside of the file which I downloaded is actually intact. I'm going to nano inside the file and as I remember we have to alter two variables is the IP and the port. The IP is the local IP address on our machine so in order to find that, I'm going to go to a terminal on Linux. I'm going to type sudo if config and look for the tune zero address. In my case, copy the address, go back to the correct window <laughs> and insert the my local IP address. Then the shell file or the reverse shell is ready to be uploaded to the web page. So I'm going to select the file and upload it. And it seems that I did not get the correct permission to do that. Usually that is because that the PHP extension is not allowed, but luckily there are different ways to circumvent it or bypass it just by renaming it to for example php5 which in some cases is allowed let's just try that and yes it's uploaded now let's just verify in the folder it does say the file is there so what we're going to do now is to set up a listener I do that with netcat and a listener is just some software listening for a connection on port uh, the port that I I wrote in the file which is I'm gonna look for because I got it yes and the port would be... 4444. Alright, so I'm creating a listener for that port. Going back to the browser, starting the PHP file, going back to the terminal, verifying that I got a shell, and I got a shell. Who am I? I am the Apache web server, it seems. Dot 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 data. And let's see what is my task. I need to find a, well, a flag. Alright, so. 
a flag can be many things. Um, it can be located anywhere. I'm just gonna try the typical locate flag. It doesn't work, of course not. However, it, it could could have been that there was a file popping up. So what I'm just gonna do is look for the the look at the home folder, the test folder, and I don't have a real good shell at the moment, so bear in mind. I'm checking the yes and now that I verified that the flag was not in the normal locations that's for hack me use I'm gonna go to the var folder and the dot 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 folder where I came from and start from scratch and what I see is of course two different things a folder and a file called user.txt and inside of that folder we have our flag which I'm gonna copy paste and hopefully that's gonna be our flag for the user. And it is the flag for the user. I hope so, yes. Now we're going to the, the actual part with privilege escalation. Now we are the web server at the moment. We are we're running on the same privilege at the web server. So now we need to upgrade it by exploiting the SUID um, permissions on binary files. So there are many binary files in the system. So in order to find those, we need to use the find command. So we're gonna find any file from the root. And basically most people, they copy paste this command. I'm just gonna straight out type it and we're gonna look for the SUID files in the system. This can take a moment depending on how busy the server is. So hopefully we'll get a list of files containing the flag and voila. Now there are many different files to look for here and I would say SU is a good uh, one to, to start with, but I'm gonna scroll up a bit more to see what I get. Um, ah, so I got the bin Python, I got the Python, so I can run Python as uh, privileged Python commands, which is something we're gonna do. So, what we're gonna need now is go to a web page called the GTFO bins, and that website contains a lot of how can I say it's static commands we can run in the terminal if so that a binary file is set with the SUID for example and then we can just basically try different commands. So what I'm gonna do now is try different ways to get a shell with a higher privilege than the dub 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 data and basically the first tryout didn't really work. It was a pseudo one. Maybe I did not do it correctly. So what I need to do is, well, I wanna try and access the, um, the Python from the uh, static path, user bin Python, and then execute the the actual command from the GTO of bins website, which is by importing the ordering system library and running a bin sh command to get a root shell with a higher privilege. So the first tryout seems to not work because I'm still dot 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 data. So that tells me that this is probably not the right one I copy pasted. I maybe did it too fast. So I I picked the the pseudo one, of course. I should have picked the SUID one, so it was a copy paste error. So basically, what I'm gonna do is uh, redo the first steps of accessing the Python command from the user bin folder and putting in the import running the who am i and now i am root so this is the easy fast way to get a root shell on a box 
I'm going to access the root folder and there's a file called root.txt containing the flag, which I'm going to copy paste. And hopefully that's going to be the answer for the root flag for this room. And it seems to have to answer a few more questions. So I found a way to escalate and the path would be user bin python input seam. Now sometimes you find other ways to exploit a box and that is also totally okay. Other times you do the correct way that the creator of the room uh, intentionally meant for you to find. But sometimes there are other ways and then you could report it to the creator of the room if so you know who it is. Else you know it doesn't really matter. Just bear in mind that hacking a room usually can be done in many different ways. Uh, the end result should be the same, of course. So I hope you like this and please subscribe, uh, like my video. Okay, see you again. Bye.